Hi, this is Vince Akiri. We're back with the Singer Professional 5, the 5 thread serger. And um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the machine up for a 5 thread safety stitch wide configuration. Uh, I made I made some notes here so that as I go through the book uh, I'm learning this as I go through the book I could uh, and get an idea where, where the things are that they're talking about you know like like for example uh, on the machine you have you have uh, you have different knobs uh, you got you got two on that side and and, and and you have two things on this side that they talk about and they also talk about this right here so <clears throat> you know first I'll show you in the book first I'll show you in the book okay now just uh, just bear with me. Like I said, I made the notes. All right, this is what hopefully we'll we'll wind up with. It's uh, they call it a they call it a five color uh, safety stitch, and uh, the top of it of the stitch you could say you know just say they just say it's a tablecloth or something you're going to have your five thread safety stitch narrow five thread um, middle cover needle thread it shows you here right over edge needle upper loop of thread, lower loop of thread, red, when I say red, I'm not talking about the thread. Uh, it just so happens that they, they put a red thread there, but we're talking about the marking on the machine, I'll show you. And then the chain st stitch, uh, uh, the brown, they're talking about the brown dot, which I will show you. Okay, so now, I have found some errors in the book. You got to be alert. All right. Now, uh, normally, when I've been using this machine, I was using three needles. I was I was doing a three needle cover stitch, and uh, I was doing that. I was doing that yesterday just in case, in case uh, no one's seen that. Boy, am I, am I making a mess here? So we got some new people looking at this. I was demonstrating the other, um, well, yes, actually, uh, last night. You know, I'm going to have to beg your pardon that this is my Janome machine. That I was uh, I was demonstrating last night. All right, I stand corrected. Here, here is here is the serger. All right, all right. That that's the serger, the three three thread cover, they call it, and then the opposite side of that. Here's the opposite side. What it looks like. That's the opposite side of the three thread um, top stitch. And it's actually, I'll back up, it's actually a, a stretch, a stretch stitch, stitch. That's a stretch stitch. See my fingers? Okay, so now you got that out of the way. Um, this calls for two needles 
and there is five slots for needles on this machine. Uh, this would be the front facing the operator, and this will be away from the operator. So now we're, we're putting a needle in the middle, which uh, all of the fronts are called cover stitch. Cover stitch left, cover stitch middle, cover stitch right needle. So now what we're doing is we're putting a needle on the inside, which is a left over over edge needle. Uh, and uh, there's not going to be nothing here. So what you see in red is going to be a needle. And what they're showing you here, um, this is uh, a Allen key. The red thing is an is an Allen key that this that that this tool goes into. This an out little Allen wrench goes into there. Goes into there. And uh, the configuration on this machine is set up. It tells you upper looper, lower looper. It tells you threaded, unthreaded. It gives you positions on these. Um, on these knobs. Damn it. All right. You got you got a, you got a, a couple of knobs that that, that they're talking about here, and I got the little uh, cheat sheet on, here on the right. So uh, they say the seam width dial, uh, and you know when I mark them on my paper. So I look at the picture on my paper, the little drawing, and then I put them accordingly. Everything actually is an N. Is set to end. Okay, I'm going to show you. Uh, right, right, here's another thing we got to see. <clears throat> right now, I I have my needles out of the machine. Okay, now one. One needle goes in the front. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you and what I'm gonna hold hold my uh, my inspector's mirror. I'll put a light so that you can see and I'll try to zoom in as much as I could. Okay. All right. Um, in the bottom of the photo, you're going to see. Let me get something to point. Hold it. Let me see if I could point with this. All right. In in the bottom. You. You're going to see three holes right here. These three holes. Then on up above it, you're going to see actually two more holes back here. Okay, so I'm putting one needle in this hole, like on the left, and then one heat one needle in the middle hole. Oh, oh sorry, in the middle hole. That's about as close as I can get without uh, getting blurry. Mm -hmm. I think you got the idea. So, uh, looking at it, of course, looking at it this way it looks a little different, but you, you're able to see the Allen keys in the front. It's about as close as I can get. And then, of course, right right now I have to put a needle in this. You see the the Allen keys holding up the uh, the Allen keys holding the screwdriver out right there. And then behind it and up.
Okay, these. No, you know, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. I'm going to move this light so you can see. Okay, all right. So this one right here, that's A, that's needle A. This one's B. And then and then you got you got C D and E. So this is the one right now that I'm putting the needle in. What I did was I took the front needle out in order to get uh, the back one in. All right, let me do that now because I'm, I'm wasting video. I'll do that. Uh, might uh, give me a little problem. I might go right in, I'm not sure, but I'll, I'll get back to you. All right, uh, the book told me a few things. It told, it told me to uh, take the knife, the open knife. I had to loosen this screw and I, I used the uh, they give you a uh, a nice leverage screwdriver. Loosen that so many times, and then you pull when it when it's unscrewed. You pull this out. See, spring loader. See, it's hanging out now. Pull it out. All right now, it's back, and this is tight. The next thing they want you to do, they want they want you to install the knife cover guard, which this is a, an attachment they give you. And see, it has a little prong here. Okay, so the one that's on here has a prong. I lift up on the prong, and I just pull this out. Like this, I put it to the side and put this back. Like this, like this, should click. Okay, that's in place. See, that's the knife. That's the knife cover. Now it told me to set this to. Uh, they call it uh, the set stitch finger to end. This is the finger, and you you, you move this one way and the other. They want this on end. I got this on end, and then, uh, then it, uh, it it told me to set to set this to B. You know, it had a had a picture. Um, this to end. And then, and then on the other side, you know, it even even shows you the uh, the various pitches. Here's 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 the stitch finger. It's showing you that right here. Okay, and. Uh, Press your foot. They want this at end. They want it this at end. There's a little little mark into the casting. That's where you line them up. And this also, they want this to end. Uh, they call this the seam width. They call this the differential feed dial. And uh, this is the pressure foot dial to end, which I did. Okay, and I got my needles in position. Um, so far, so far I'm doing what the, what the book, what the book says, you know, setting it up. Uh, all right, let me go a little further here. 
Okay, I'm going to I'm going to adjust this now so that the upper loop is engaged. I'm going to I'm going to move this to the left and down. See? Okay, and it locked. So now it's now it's like a straight knee. All right. So now the upper loop is going to move. So uh, I'm going to thread the upper looper. All right, let me finish my threading and then I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, Vince Security back. It took me a little while to figure out. I never did this particular stitch, so I, uh, I tell you, it's a, it's a um, complicated uh, piece of machinery. But if you understand, if somebody goes through it with you, it might make it a little bit more uh, understandable. And the. Uh, the drawings themselves, uh, whoever did the artwork, uh, obviously was just reading off uh, some kind of a, of a menu. They actually probably didn't have the machine in front of them unless they were just given a drawing or something. I, I'm really not sure. Uh, anyway, um, all right, here's what I did. The, this right now is, is set up for five threads. Uh, in a nutshell, these two, yeah, sure, these two, these two here go through the two needles. Um, the one on the left is uh, the uh, the yellow, and uh, and the first needle they say to thread is the back one, which is which is A, which is um, needle A. Which is this needle here? Needle A. So I threaded that first and uh, I, I brought it through the, the little fingers over here. I brought it through one of these fingers that's more in line with the needle the same thing there's a little bar here and and actually oh my camera's dropping and actually um you see where this bar is only one piece of metal the bar below it is sort of bent uh doubled metal so when you're putting the thread in, you sort of angle the thread in like this and then slide it in and then bring it like this to align it with the hole. And then and then I put them behind this behind this bar. This one I didn't do. Alright, that's just a floating bar. And then then the threads went down under the press of foot. Everything now is going towards the back. Now, the uh, that was the easy part, but that's the last thing you do. Now, they they have you thread the upper loop first. They give you the color, the green. green and the green happens to be uh, this this spool that's the green and I followed the little the little dots that they have yeah, you start coming down this way I go in. Right, then it goes in this loop. It 
goes across to this loop. Then it comes up. Comes up like this. And there's a little wire, a little twisted wire up there. And you um, you you loop the thread on the outside of this little point and bring it around so basically it's dropping through. The end result is like that. That's the end result as you see. Okay now um, there is a hole here where the thread goes through. Now the instructions they tell you that this that this little deal here when there's thread, this is a white knob, this goes up and down. See? The purpose of it down is to cover the hole. But for this case they want it up. Alright, so that's one of the steps. So now in order to get the thread on the back, I'm gonna move the uh now you see these, this, this here, and there's one here, little, little points with holes on the end. Everything's dropping. Got a hole here, a hole here. Okay. In the back of this uh, sort of a hooked shape arm, in the back of it, there, there is a notch, you know, just say like, you know, something like the back of this scissor. There is a notch that the thread goes into that notch. Now, you can't reach it because it's back. It's back in here. But what they have... Now I had I had a machine I had a surgeon before this it was a it was a Janome. Let's see if I could if I could show you these things I'm talking about. Okay, you see, I'm going to put it in the center of the screen. All right. You see the thing I'm moving? You see the V-notch? V-notch. Right there? Okay, the thread has to go with your left hand. You put the thread behind the V-notch. And you're holding the thread in the left hand, and the right hand's holding this little little thing up like this and the left hand's holding the thread in that v-notch and then you pull this all the way back so I can't do it now I, I had to move this out of the way this little thing you, you move this all the way back and it's pulling the, th the thread with it and as you're holding it in your hand and and what it does is it 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 lays the thread back on the back of that hook and then when you let go of this little lever the thread stays believe it or not stays on the back of this hook gets into that little little notch and then you pull it to the right and it actually stays in that notch and then you put it from front to back through the hole and uh, you could see the blue one here going front to back through the hole and then I pulled it out the back of the machine see I'm gonna I'm gonna pull some of it now 
You want to see, you see everything's moving. Everything's pulling through. And now, uh, all right. And then, you, and then you do the lower loop the same way. You follow the colors going through. Yeah, you, you'll see. You'll see a lower loop of red, and uh, usually what I what I did was I put. I put the red one through this hole here. And again, like I said, this is this two piece of metal. So you angle the thread like this, slide it in, and then you pull it through the hole. The other one, the brown, the thread goes through that. That is for uh, the, the chain stitch looper and both and both of those loopers the chain stitch and the lower looper you have to use that little V notch uh, installer that I was showing you before the upper looper does not require that method so I just showed you and there the little the little V notch and there's there's one here too. See that little V notch? I'll put it right in the center. It's moving. And then the other one I put it in the center of the screen. That V notch. The thread goes in there and then you pull it all the way back as far as it can go. And hopefully, if you if you have tension on the with your left hand on that thread, it places it behind that that sort of that hook thing with the with the eye in it. All right. Now the next step. I got to see if it works. Of course, it tells you it tells you in the book when you when you get all of that done. When you get all of that done, it. Uh, it showed, it showed you this. It showed you this here. See? And it says, try it. Place two pieces of home decorative fabric right side together. Align the fabric so that the knife just slightly trims the fabric edge. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. Two pieces. And what do they say? Good side together. Right sides together. Okay, right side together. We know what that means. Okay. You're gonna be the first. Gonna be the first to see Vince screw up here. I'm right, gonna close this. I don't know. It'd be too good to be true if it works. Is that a lot of a lot of gizmos there? Not a little deals. Put this. Put that. All right. See what could I use for fabric? Two right sides together. Alright, I'm gonna get some fabric. I think I'll just get a somebody shut this off a minute. I'd be amazed if this works. <laughs> I'm just 
just gonna just gonna put two pieces together here first, just just a couple of inches. Now what do you do? You put it right under the pressure of the foot. Oh, I see a knife right here. All right, look here. Okay, let me uh, let me bring down this pressure foot here. Pull this through. Okay, that's actually the end. It has a cut in it. Okay, I, what, as they say, chained off. What happened to my scissors? I dropped it and lost it around. Chained off. Alright, let me get up. Put the camera on it. Let's see what I got. Oh boy. Bang, bing. Get my light. Here's as far as I went. See, see, I had to slit. That's why I didn't go any further. All right, that's the other side. It's called a five, five thread safety stitch. Cut it, did it, look, did it. All right. So, just like in the book, it had, just say the goal, everything, the goal was in the front, and then uh, I used the blue, and uh, one, one was the chain stitch looper, and this was the lower looper, and then and then the uh, the the top stitch, one top stitch, and the other the edge stitch. The edge stitch is the back needle. Would be needle B, the back one, edge stitch. And this would be the cover stitch needle, and this is the wide five thread safety stitch. Okay, that's uh, Vince Curie, and first, not first, but uh, I'll show you where I buy my machines. Now, I'm just doing this because I like the people. I don't make no money on this. I'm not ask, asking for anything. Mr. Vac and Mrs. So, they have a website.